All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right, staying safe and protected. I pray that y'all staying strong out here in these times that run. I hope that you're enjoying your day and your nights every day from now on. I pray that your summer is going more better and smooth. I pray that you have safe trips and you enjoy your life better. And I pray that your relationship with the Most High gets better as well. Now, today's message I just want to discuss about, you know, avoiding evil, staying out the way, staying low key, you know, being watchful and just being careful nowadays, you know. You know, in these times that we're in, we're in the last days, we're in perilous times. So things get more unpredictable and wild by the day, right? All the things going on in this country and all the things going on in the world, these news stories just get more crazy and crazy. These crime, the crime rate has increased. Violence has increased. A lot of like unreasonable events are just going down left and right. And you keep seeing these like really crazy stories about, you know, different types of shootings, or people getting stabbed over an argument, people getting killed, robbery, like all types of wild events, things that just take place at any given time, whether it's at a supermarket or a mall or all these different public places that we all go run errands at. We got to be really protected and safe out here because you never know what people around you are going through. You don't know what someone is capable of. And people are just on this on this verge of just snapping and getting violent out of nowhere. Um, whether they're taking it out on a stranger or on someone that they know personally, um, a lot of evil is lurking heavy out here in these last days, okay? So I pray that you have a protective hedge over you. I pray that the blood of Jesus is all over you, all in your life. I pray that God is protecting you everywhere you go. I hope that you pray when you, before, as soon as you wake up, I hope that you pray before you eat everything so you can avoid food poisoning or anything. I pray that you pray before you get in the car, before you get on the road to avoid an accident or road rage, anything crazy like that. You know, like pray all the time, you know, pray without season. Always stay prayed up. Always stay protected. All right. Always stay in God's presence. Always keep the most high first, because in these days that we're in, we have to really stay in his presence like heavy. We need his protective hedge on us like heavy as we have the armor of God on us and everything like we need the most highest protection, not out of fear and things of that nature, but we do just need it just for our own livelihood. You know what I'm saying? So what I would like to do is just keep, just tell y'all, man, just be careful with strangers. Be careful when you go out and about. Be careful who you have conversations with or arguments or debates because things could escalate and lead to things that could have been avoided. All types of crazy situations and scenarios. So. I just want to read just a few scriptures about certain things like this and then just close out. I don't want to keep it too long or preachy. I just feel like watching all these news articles, watching all these news stories, seeing these news articles, all these crazy, weird stories right around us, you know, we got to be safe and protected out here, okay? So I'm going to read the word and go on. And here we go. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 15. With trouble avoided, do not pass by it. Turn away from it and pass on. The book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Now I urge you, brethren, keep your eye on those who cause dissensions and hindrances contrary to teaching which you learned and turn away from them. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 20. O Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to you, avoiding worldly and empty chatter and the opposing arguments of what is falsely called knowledge. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 16. But avoid worldly and empty chatter, for it will lead to further ungodliness. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 23. But refuse foolish and ignorant speculations, knowing that they produce fights, they produce quarrels. See, man, y'all got to be careful when y'all out and about out here, you know what I'm saying? All these crazy news stories, these vi- all this violence, it always stems from social media or B for jealousy or argument, a disagreement, misunderstanding, miscommunication, all that, you know, all that crazy stuff. So here we go. The book of Titus, chapter three, verse nine. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and strife and disputes about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. And the New Testament talks about things like this, dealing with arguments and debates over uh, spiritual things. Okay, my bad for that. Okay, here we go. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse twenty-two: 
Abstain from every form of evil. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Now flee from youthful lust and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Flee immorality. Every other sin that a man commits is outside of his body, but the immoral man sins against his own body. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 14. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. All right, the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. But flee from these things, you man of God, and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands having the seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who, know, everyone who names the name of the Lord is to abstain from wickedness. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 15. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your feet from their path. The book of Psalm 17, verse 4. As for the deeds of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept from the paths of the violent. The book of Acts chapter 15, verse 20. But that we write to them that they abstain from things contaminated by idols and from fornication and from what is strangled and from blood. The book of Acts chapter 15, verse uh, hold on, my bad. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. But have nothing to do with worldly fables fit only for old women. On the other hand, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. The book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers to abstain from fleshly lusts, which wage war against the soul. Abstain from strange lusts, fleshly, strange flesh, which wage war against the soul. So it's important that we avoid trouble, avoid sin, you know, avoid jealousy, you know, avoid those type of stuff, man. Avoid that drama, stay out the way, you know, avoid deceit, man. Avoid all that negative energy. Um, even though it's very challenging these times that we're in, it's important to have a peace of mind and be drama free. You know, God calls us to be to be innocent. God calls us to be blameless. You know, we have to be stay out the way, stay low key, stay safe and protected, and just go on with our lives. All right. So you know, try to just be a homebody more often. You know, stay to yourself, just kick it, relax at home. You know, gather your thoughts and calm down as you go on throughout your life. All right. So what I'm gonna do is just close out. By giving glory to all the and all the praise to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and how awesome His Son is, and just close out from here, okay? Here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the Beginning and the End, the Beginning of Creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potent, the Blessed and Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the Chief Cornerstone, the Chief Shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the Consolation of Israel, the Cornerstone, the Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the deliverer the desire of the nations the door the elect of god emmanuel the eternal life the everlasting father the faith of true witness the faithful of true the faithful witness the first and the last the first begotten the first born from the dead first born over all creation the forerunner the gate the glory of the lord god the good shepherd the great high priest the great shepherd the head of the church the heir of all things the high priest the holy and true the holy one the hope the hope of glory the horn of salvation the i am the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshua, Shalom, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory. 
glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life. The righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the way, the truth, and light, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for die for our sins. The blood still works and we have that protective hedge over our lives. I pray to God that whoever lists this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over for the Lord. I pray that you have new beginnings. I pray that you are safe and protected. I pray that you are blessed and protected everywhere you go and you stay out the way, stay out of trouble, stay low key and enjoy your life. All right. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.